shorter, if I'm being completely <laughs> honest with you. Session just, you level up, end of session. <laughs> Not quite. We'll do a little bit more than that. But that's, no. that's, that's going to be the do gist, I'll be that. completely honest with you. <laughs> what, what's our elevate, elevator pitch for the... Uh, no, uh, to Tom, just let me get a we'll have this conversation afterwards. <laughs> just do the D&D first, and you can have your elevator pitch afterwards. No, this is this is this is no, D &D. Let's not. Let's put Tom, put Dom out of his misery and get the session over with first. Yeah, put me down. And... <laughs> what, All are right. to, what are we trying to achieve? For the benefit of Richard, who can tell me what happened last session? We had a big old fight with a wizard who you did. didn't enjoy being hacked to pieces by a monitor. Don't know why. No, most people are quite fond of your experience, aren't they? Yeah, he's a prude. It's a prude. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, of course, if somebody enjoys it, you're like, God, what a slut. Exactly, yeah, you know, that's yeah. how that works. He's a bit more liberal. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, you, uh, the whole session was essentially just, yes, the fight in the train against the wizard. It was a good fight. Mm. Was good. I, gave Andy, I gave Andy a really decent buff, and he, uh, it was disgusted, therefore I it was swiftly removed, and then, uh, and then yeah. Ed teleported. Oh, we forgot. I didn't. Tom, Tom turned. Salem in... did an amazing chaotic. Yeah, play. Salem. Oh, I actually wasn't, <laughs> wasn't present when it happened. Yeah, Salem, Salem got a it. ring of spell storing from his patron. Uh, he never checked the spells that were in it, and so just used it uh, and casted a. What was it, Tom? Gra. Gravity fissure. Oh, gravity fissure. Gravity yeah. fissure. Yes. Uh, basically, at the party. Uh, <laughs> nice. So, which you know, that's um, yeah. Well, you know, but now now you now you've still got the ring of spell storing, and you know now it's empty. But you know, it's all yours. So, um, you got a wand of wonders as well. Yeah. Uh, I believe Ed has that. Yep. That's why I was trying to goad Ed into using the Wand of Wonders, because every oh, time you use it, you roll a d100 for the result. So tempted. Oh, good. <laughs> definitely going to happen. I believe I'm wearing a suit of animated armor. You are indeed, yes. Uh, Sam got the... I can't remember what I called it. My brain is full of soup. Um, which Play essentially armor. enables him, on a bonus action, to uh, move his movement again. Uh, at the cost of essentially the same as uh, Barbarian's Reckless Attack. Enemy attacks against him will have advantage for the next yeah, turn. Play Armor of Aggression. That's uh, it, yes. Reckless Movement, I like it. Indeed. Uh, the armor is still very much animated, uh, so occasionally uh, you will see that like the hands kind of are just... Like, the hands of the armor come away from Cole's hands and are just, like, tapping on the back of his... Uh, on the back of his hand, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> so you've successfully freed the witch. Uh, Ragnar, as you phase back into existence... Oh, I'll just dump you there. Uh, you see that the lady that you uh, infected with uh, were-tigerism is still... is still there. She's still infected. She's still alive. She's just unconscious. So I don't know if there was anything you wanted to do with this lady who you've just given. Uh, I'll Ty just untie her and leave her unconscious. Okay, she, can, she can be free. <laughs> mm. uh, okay, okay. Someone is grunt. <clears throat> Might be me. I've been grunting a lot. Um, so. Uh, with that, the witch is going... I'm not going to put on the voice. I can't do voices. Um, oh, the witch is going you. to... Uh, tell you what, Tom, if you if you do the Salem voice, I'll do voices. Okay. Go on, then. Salem's not speaking. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm not doing it until Salem speaks. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> he fucking got you there, Tom. He fucking yeah. got you there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, but Dom specified he had to do the voice. I don't think saying he's not speaking counts. <laughs> I said I'd do the voice. I say yeah, you will. Grand. And I will. I'll, I'll keep an ear out for that. Uh, with that, the uh, the witch is going to take the opportunity uh, now that 
the immediate danger has passed. Uh, and she's going to start hastily scrawling runes on the floor and gesturing for all of you to get in, get in. She'll get you all back to her cabin. Um, just before running into the little portal, did, did mm-hmm. the wizard have anything cool on him? Oh, um, yeah, you can have a looty loot. It's like a little, um, little quick pat down. Sure, he has what appears to be just a normal... Um, what a is it a penny whistle like the lifeguard whistles? Oh yeah. Yeah, he uh, appears to just have a normal, completely normal penny whistle. Mm-hmm. Uh, in a pocket, he has uh, three buttons, two of which are brass, one of which is gold. Ooh. Um, and uh, twelve silver pieces. Cool. I'll take yep. a, I'll take a gold button. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> Um, so, yes, with that, anything anybody else wants to do before you leave here? I'll take the gold, the silver as well. Yeah, yeah, take well the silver before, as well. Um, before we fight mm-hmm. anything else, yep. can I put some spells in my spell ring? Yeah, we'll deal with that in a moment, but don't worry, you're, you're, good. Can I, you're good. Can I look pointedly at this guy and just like give him a really nasty look? Uh... Yes, you could give the half elf stink eye. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I shouldn't give him pink eye though. That's. Uh, I mean, that's that's a whole different thing. That happens later. I just, I just, oh, to stinky pink, pink eye. I just wanted to categorically understand that I really don't like him. Did I make this guy do something to you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You really just. Like, when, I, when I went to talk to him in his cave, he was a right dick. No, it's because Sam no, is incredibly <laughs> like xenophobic against elves. Ah, oh, that's fair enough, honestly. Yeah, are we all a little bit? And he just always finds a reason. <laughs> okay, uh, so with that, <laughs> everybody is going to uh, pile into a circle that the witch draws on the ground. This includes the kobolds that you've uh, rescued, the half elf, um, and you're leaving the unconscious woman behind. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So. Um... Uh, yeah. Can I kick the half elf out the round circle before we teleport? Do you want to try and kick him out so he doesn't get teleported? If I can. Uh, okay, roll me uh, an athletics check. Are you trying to hide that you're doing this, or are you making it blindingly obvious you're just booting him out? I'm not going to be particularly subtle about it. Okay, just an athletics. But I'm going to try and leave it as late as possible so that no one can stop me. Okay, that's fine. Yep, it'll be a contested athletic... <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, yeah. if he rolled in that one, do you reckon he would have, like, Sam would have just, like, kicked and missed and fallen out? <laughs> we just ended up without him. <laughs> he, he goes to do it and just falls out the side. We place call with the elf. <laughs> and then Sam has to play the Behold, elf. Behold, Sam, your new character. <laughs> uh, no, so right as the, uh, the witch is finishing up uh, some enchantments and wrapping up the circle, uh, call with a swift kick. You kick the elf clean out of the circle uh, for the briefest moment you just see a look of absolute betrayal on his face and then you all vanish hoof to chest like he's, just, he's basically just been kicked by a cow yeah he has literally just been kicked by a cow uh, <laughs> uh, Gene uh, just as, he, as he's uh, mm-hmm. phasing out will go um, sorry kid better luck next time and then just <laughs> chuck him he'll, he'll chuck him the, the silver he found on the wizard <laughs> Just to appear magnanimous. <laughs> to appear magnanimous, and so that when this guy comes back to hunt you guys later, like, he doesn't quite target Gene as much, right? Uh, precisely. <laughs> Someone's got to give me characters to be the big brand on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. So with that, you uh, vanish and reappear at the, uh, the witch's hut. Uh, she kind of uh, gives a big sigh and sits down in a squashy armchair. Uh, immediately there's a kind of weird squawking sound and she reaches behind her and pulls out one of her kobold apprentices or interns Uh, the kobolds all get very very excited at her return you can see them scurrying about fetching things for her bringing her a mug of tea that sort of thing just getting her getting her nice and settled and they're clearly very very excited because they don't have to pretend to be her anymore um Hang on, sorry. Oh, sorry about that. 
Um, so with uh, with kind of everything back back how it should be as far as the witch is concerned, she kind of sits back in the armchair and looks at you guys and says, "So, what was it you wanted of me?" I don't know. The stark knows. Now you say that I can't remember I, anymore. I do. Know. We have a lot of bounty hunters chasing us. Um, there appears to be some kind of spell that they've somehow be... managed to start tracking us, and mm, it's yeah. the, the quite good good. bothersome. The good league of good put a price on our heads and managed to distribute flyers and or some kind of magical price on us that appears to work planet wide. Oh yes, yes, right. The the trace, yes. All right. Have you got one of the flyers on you? I believe there we you do. Yeah, you do. Yes, yes. Thankfully. Uh, so one of you uh, passes a flyer over to the. Oh. Her cup of tea. You Sorry? Out there, Tom. We lost you on there. Cut oh. Really. I don't. Hello. Yeah, you're back now. Yeah. But you cut out for a minute there. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Mm. Um, yeah, she takes the, the flyer, lays it out on her side table, moves away her cup of tea, and starts kind of pouring over it, running a finger along some runes that you can't quite make out. Clearly clearly deep in thought as she kind of scries across the whole thing. Uh, after a moment, she then turns and says, yeah, I think I can... Um, I can reverse this. Yeah. Um... Now, we've got a few options as to how this works. Either I could reverse all of these, so every single person who has one of these flyers is now tracking whoever it was who cast this on you. Or, but of course, if I do that, whoever cast these will probably realize. Uh. Or I could just reverse yours. That would slip under the radar. And you'd be able to then track down whoever's done this to you without them without them expecting you coming. Would they still be able to be tracking us with the other flyers? Oh, every other flyer will still track you, yes. Mm. Or we could we could make it so that the other the other flyers track something else. If you can think of something else to track. Do you have Something to be, that'll still keep them busy. Does the does the thing have to be present with us? Uh, no, no. I can I can do this from quite some range. I, I'll need a good description of it, but I, I can... have a suggestion. <laughs> Certainly. Do you recall a particular half elf we met recently? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> 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 okay, that's yeah. certainly an option. The problem is, whatever's getting tracked, you want to not be found. You want it to be something that, that they can track, but they're going to struggle to find. I mean, mm. so, Tom, this is out of character question, but still, yeah, I feel yeah. like we would understand in some fashion or another. Yeah, so, yeah. are we on a different continent to the Good League of Good currently? Uh, the Good League of Good has a presence on this continent, but it's not as big. So, all the bounty hunters were chasing us. Yeah. So, they're probably on this continent. Most of them will be. So yeah. If we choose something on the other continent, yeah. we're going to get a fair amount of time before they. Oh, before definitely, they yeah. So, what if we, rather than reversing it to the other flyers to be somebody else, or sorry, reversing the other flyers to be a person who casts a spell, we could do somebody else in the Good League of Good who want to screw over. Okay. That would give us a bit of time to get back. And we, meanwhile, we can chase hmm. down the caster. Yeah, and they will be busy dealing with the bounty hunters and trying to sort that mess out. That mm -hmm. makes a really nice distraction. Yeah. Um, do, we, yeah. do we know, like, did a good league of good have like a big individual HQ? Uh, they do have a main capital city. Is it safe uh, to assume that mm -hmm. the person who casts this spell is probably there? Um, possibly, but they could be. They could be anywhere. Uh, yeah. I will say, you know, from actually, yeah, at that point, a purple portal is going to appear and out is going to fall uh, Krim, who is now joining into the conversation. <laughs> um, we get his input on this. So thing. he can tell you that essentially there's like the level of magic required to have cast this level of tracking on you guys 
there's basically only about three or four people who could do it. All of them are people that the Evil League of Evil want to kill. Mm. So the way they the way they figure it, whoever it is who's actually cast this, they want to find where they are and kill them. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's only a very small amount of people it could have been, though. I have a suggestion. Yeah. What if we... So it's just, just for argument's sake, I'm going to not call mm-hmm. them one through four. Yeah. What if we, like... We go after number one and we put the trace on number four. The that problem means... is you need to know them quite well in order to put the trace on them. Mm. But assumably Cor- Krim knows who these individuals are. Uh, he knows vaguely who they are. He knows them by title alone. Right, and that's not enough. Yeah. Uh, so who's you've the got the... Who's the leader of the Good League of Good? Sorry? Who, do we know any... Do we know any significant figures in the Good League of well enough to put a trace on them? Uh, I'd say probably nobody nobody at like a leadership level, if that's what you're looking for. I think any of the ones we known, we've kind of killed by this point. Wait. Because there was the... Bill, but yeah, mm-hmm. took care of that. Yep. What about uh, who else would be met? What about the ones we beat in eating contest? The The monks, yes, yes. <laughs> you could, you probably could put the trace on the monks. Yep. Yeah. Who, sorry? Uh, the uh, you know, you stopped off somewhere and beat some monks at an eating contest. Oh yeah, they were good league of good, weren't they? They were good league of good. Yes, yes. That was fairly isolated. That would be a good. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, they, or you could really... put it on something that moves, like um, your ship, because that's not with you at the moment. That's off mm-hmm. sailing doing piracy. Mm. That's a good shout. Oh yeah, I like that. They could just betray. It could betray somebody and go for Captain Nose kill. Boots. And mm-hmm. all that effort. To... Or the captain's daughter. We could. You put could it put on... it on the captain's daughter. Yes. We could put it on Sir Leopold. <laughs> we went yeah, to all that effort to, to turn him. We can't mm. kill yeah, him now. He's a tough customer. Like he's gonna, he can take a bounty hunter or two. Mm. Yeah, he's also he he is he's largely. Tough. Based in his city. He is a king, yeah. So, <laughs> pretty hard to get to. What about Tushu Lu 2? What about that shot? You killed all his oh, forces. Tushu Lu 2 died. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why he's in the dead. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean if yeah, if we did cast it on Leopold, we might mm-hmm. that we, we don't need ages, we just need enough time to get to yeah, wherever this guy is. So we just need some someone that can hold out for long enough. Mm-hmm. What about um, what? What? Wait. What just... about loaded pepperoni? Jeez. What the horse? No, no, that's, yeah, that's not gonna work. Did you ever? Did we ever find out what the other horse was called? Wait. No. Idea. Oh, no, that wasn't the name. No, no I, I, sure it was like, heat wave. It was like. Uh, <laughs> Chili my, heat wave. My, no, my Griff, uh, Graf the Griffin, mm-hmm. um, is a he's a he's a paladin's mount, so I can resummon him. So if he, oh. he's, he is for all intents and purposes immortal from that perspective. I've lost. I've completely lost train of what's happening now. What if we? What if we put it on the Griffin and I just tell him to fucking just keep flying like in the opposite direction to where we're going, and oh. just like for as long as possible and just keep going because he'll move way faster than we will. Just send him off to be like evasive for as long as possible. And if he dies, I'll just resummon him. Yeah, that's an option. That's an option. Uh, Do you? Was... Does he have a maximum range from you? Uh, let, me oh, let me have a look. Uh, let me put the spell What's in. What's going the on now? I'm going to put. You it are on. trying to work out who you can put the tracer on that will enable you to uh, to slip in. If we did, um, hypothetically, if we did need to get mm-hmm. to the other continent where the, the Good League of Good is based, um, would Krim be able to offer us some uh, shortcut via portal? To uh, Krim has there? got, he's got, he's got some methods. He can get you around. Okay. As that does needed. cut down on the time significantly. Yeah, yeah so there's no, I'm, there's no I'd, I'd tell you what I'll do is that uh, Dregs will step forwards whilst this debate's going on, and just say, Oh yeah, what uh, about the owl? Oh, I'll do it. I'll be... I'll be the one to to be the tracker. I can just fly away and uh, 
none of you guys will have to worry about anything. I can fly pretty fast. And Krim Krim does say well, I could I could take you back to I could take you back to the other continent. Yeah. Mm. Could take you nice and far. No, no, Greg stays. Greg stays here. Like we go back to the other continent. <laughs> Well, yeah, obviously, depending yeah, on go wherever. Yeah, you could you send dregs to whatever continent you're not going to, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Probably best if he stays here. Then it seems like less of a sudden change of um, momentum for us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that works. Yeah. And then, cool. and yeah, dregs just kind of like flies off in a direction, but just keeps moving from this point. I'll be the uh, yeah. the hero we need. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not the one okay. we are either because we don't deserve one at all. No, that's true. So is that is that the is that the what we want to go for? Yeah. All yeah, right. Then. If the owl's happy to sacrifice his own life for our benefit, then we'll let him do it. <laughs> yeah. You've been uh, good to me. Yeah. Have we? No. <laughs> you haven't. You haven't murdered him. You know. And we and I didn't kick him out of the teleportation circle. So doing better than half elf. <laughs> but, um, or random half elf. Before we do that, I uh, suppose. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, yeah. What 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 do we need to do for this to work? So this is going to take some time for the witch to do. This is going to take her a couple of hours. So this is an opportunity for people to rest up. Yeah. And for and for Dregs to start putting some distance, as well if he wants to. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> I believe Dregs has Hero's Feast. I do have Hero's Feast. Yeah. So I shall cast Hero's Feast. Oh. Oh. Which... There we go. And this will be uh, my parting gift to you all. Yes. So with this, uh, over over the course of an hour, uh, what does it give you? So excellent. So we'll say we'll say that this counts as you have a long rest. You get the benefit of a hero's feast, and you will level up as well. But we'll we'll get to that. Whoop 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 whoop. Whoop. Uh, so as the uh, as the witch, you know, she starts her rituals while you're all sat down digging in and eating. Everybody getting ready. She's kind of moving around various runes and sorting out the reverse tracking. Uh, she gives a delighted cackle at one point, and holds up, excitedly holds up the. Uh, the flyer to you and you can see it is not pointed in your direction at all it's now pointed to the east and she says quite excitedly i know where this is this is all good yes sam and would we be able to get her to do like more than one tracker just so we don't end up losing that one bit of paper <laughs> uh yeah she can she can give you a few copies of this so yeah, yeah. don't worry you're not you're not gonna lose this tracker <laughs> yeah some, something like that we'll say um so so with that and the kind of reverse tracker set up on dregs i'll say you guys can level up and uh dregs you can depart you can depart as i uh as i go i'm gonna walk around and um like giving people out food and and patting them on the back and and you know giving my little parting ways to everybody and then uh, as I uh, approach I will uh, look Ragnar in the eyes and just be like I know you carry the darkness within you and uh, I wish you the very best and then I will embrace him and uh, then I will uh, uh, yeah fly away. All right then. Oh, fly away. Away. In a in a very unsuspicious way. In a very unsuspicious <laughs> way. Ragnar, can you make me a perception check, please? Okay. With advantage. I'm gonna need it. <laughs> oh <my> nope. <laughs> uh, a nine. A nine is enough to realize that something feels odd. <laughs> something feels off. When when he gave you that hug, you feel different all of a sudden. I should have brought that new wear tiger with me, shouldn't I? <laughs> uh, so with that, you guys can level up. You've got a tracker to to send you to a big wig of the of the good league of good. So this, so and just my John's quite sick, so he's going to sit down now. Absolute benefit. <laughs> what you were standing yeah. up while delivering that session? I, I, when Eleanor is not here, I am currently 
on the other side of the flat, Andy. <laughs> I walk. I walk around while talking. That's why occasionally when you guys are like, uh, when I say like roll something, I, I mute myself and run, like, because <laughs> um, I'm like I'm miles away from a screen. This... So, the tracker is taking us to someone. Yep. Yes. So you have successfully reversed the tracker to pinpoint somebody within the good league of good who's powerful enough to have done this to you oh, okay. um you don't quite know who it is yet and you have changed it so every other tracker is now tracking dregs who's flown off yeah. to get away from you I'm gonna level up. and yes you get to level up perfect <laughs> Well, and yeah, that would have been a longer session. I had way more stuff planned, but uh, I'm blech. <laughs> My brain's full of soup. It what is a I'm it is a very good thing we didn't decide to do the F one one shot because I would not be fucking doing it. Yeah. <laughs>